Hello folks, uh, today I'm back with some of the critical updates on Keychron K2A2 after having used it for more than a week. There are some bad news along with some good ones. I think as a customer, it's important that you understand some of those issues even before making that purchase decision. So here we go then. Let's talk about the good part first. Number one, great feeling keys. Keys feel great once you get comfortable using the 75% compact form. I felt a little weird initially finding the return key uh, because I'm so used to the MacBook Pro and the Windows uh, laptop machines earlier. So, uh, but once I started feeling comfortable, it felt like a breeze. But be aware, it's going to make a lot of sound noise. And if you are in a Zoom call or a Teams call, then better you keep it muted. Number two, fancy RGB. The RGB stands out with all of those 15 effects made available. I don't know how long I'm going to use that um, and going to relish the lights coming out of those keys. Uh, maybe I won't even realize in the long run that this even exists and then maybe start focusing on all of the productive things and then not on all of these uh, jazzy fancy RGB lights. Until that moment, it feels like a great value to have in the keyboard. Gamers, maybe you will like it more. Number three, illuminated keys. Keys are visible at night. Um, I don't generally look at my keyboard while typing, but sometimes some odd keys like, which I'm not so used to, uh, like the tilde keys, which is predominantly used in programming, I might have a peek and find the keys. Uh, so the illuminated keys at least help with that one. Number four, multi-device connectivity. Connectivity between three devices uh, at a time is a big plus. Uh, I'm now able to easily shift between my personal MacBook Pro to my office uh, M1 MacBook Pro to my office Windows laptop. Um, this makes my life uh, easier without having to move between keyboards of individual devices. Now I'm pretty much used to shifting between devices just with the button tap, uh, let's say function one, two or three. I feel this is a really productive feature compared to my older Microsoft keyboards. Number five, uh, decent charging longevity. Battery life is pretty decent. Uh, I only charged it once this whole week uh, while keeping the basic RGB in place. USB-C charging helps in keeping the keyboard active while still at work. That's good part. Now let's talk about uh, the big part which nobody is talking about, the bad part. And I felt it was a big minus. Number one, typing comfort. Keychron K2 V2 is a little too big for comfort while typing. Maybe Keychron sees it as a cross-selling opportunity for the Palm Res products, but that product itself is as costly as maybe a low-end uh, key mouse combo, keyboard mouse combo, which actually might serve your purpose if you're not looking out for, let's say something fancy. Um, only if you have a fantasy for, let's say, a mechanical keyboard, which is wireless, which is carrying an RGB, which has multi-device connectivity, then it makes sense to have something like this uh, as a keyboard. Otherwise, uh, why not just invest in something like a low, low profile keyboard like uh, the Logitech MX keys, which carries more or less the same features, but which is also uh, easy on your palms because of its low profile and uh, lower height. Avoid any reason to further any chances of repetitive strain injury, I would say. Number two of the big minus is uh, fading keys. I received the keyboard uh, with an already worn out D key. I only realized it after uh, the unboxing. I started seeing a couple of more keys uh, like the F and the V keys also wearing out pretty soon in a couple of days. I believe the quality of coating over the keys is poor and this is against the expectations as I have not seen any of those big influencers talking about it anywhere. 
maybe it's a problem with whatever Keychron is selling in the Asian Indian market. I'm not sure. So I got in touch with their customer support and that happened to become more the second big bad part. Number three on the big minus is the customer support. Let's talk about the customer support, uh, which I feel makes so it breaks a deal. And this one was a deal breaker for me. Customer support reverted back promptly within a day, asking about the issue that I was facing. I sent across a couple of images of the keys which were wearing out. Um, and then came the shocking answer. Um, let me show you the screenshots of Keychron's uh, India customer support response. Uh, sorry for the late reply. Can you please send us the list of keycaps? We will send you the keycaps uh, when you're facing the problem. We will send you the replacement. Uh, we would like to tell you that the ABS keycaps are prone to this kind of problem. If you want to avoid this kind of issue, we you have to use the PBT keycaps. So they are acknowledging more like uh, whatever uh, keycaps which is coming with uh, the Keychron K2V2 which is non-swappable is with ABS keycaps and they are acknowledging that that's not of good quality that can wear off. That's like a shocker like because I've spent already so much on this and then I get a response saying it's expected. That's like a shocker, right? So again, I reverted back saying Keychron India, thank you for the response. Currently, I'm facing the issues on these, these, these keys. And it's surprising to hear that within a week, I'm expected to see these keys wear off. I am not an expert on these types of keys, ABS or a PBT, etc. to be used. I just brought this product after hearing all the rave reviews. But now I'm a little sad to hear that I'm supposed to face these kind of issues, which is really surprising because there is no mention anywhere in any of those reviews, which all these big influencers did, nowhere a mention of this failing keys. So that's a little surprising. I would assume that it's a local problem. Maybe let me try to address that right now. Uh, so clearly I feel uh, the customer support looks like uh, not so competent enough or the responses are coming directly from maybe a local small seller in India like in Bangalore. There are retail electronic small stores in a place called SP Road where you can actually bargain and get a good deal. So those guys don't promise anything like a fancy customer support but you get a good deal out there. I am assuming Keychron is just having some kind of a similar tie up with one of one of them in India, maybe with some small seller. I'm not sure. But then that that's what the reason may be behind this support being like this. And uh, the basic takeaway, I would say anyways, is that uh, from this interaction, what we what I had is that uh, you should be aware the key caps or the keyboard key types which you are opting for because Keychron itself is not guaranteeing quality from the grayish ABS keycaps which comes along with all those non-swappable keyboards which they are selling. So uh, they are selling a couple of types of K2s in India. So the swappable and the non-swappable. The swappable ones are already the ones which comes this with the white key keys keycaps. Uh, which I think are the PBT keycaps, which they are asking me to upgrade. Um, and that does not make sense to me as I have already spent a lot on this keyboard. And otherwise the ABS keycaps have this fading issue which Keychron itself is acknowledging right now. So there lies the problem. I hope uh, Keychron will address this issue sooner at least in India because I don't think it's it's a global issue, at least I'm not sure about it, but then it looks like a localized issue. Until then, it's hard to trust this brand, I guess. That's my take on this Kikron currently, at least the brand uh, in India. So that's my take on Kikron K2V2. Um, after maybe having used it for a week, I'm going to continue using it because I, I am hoping they are going to support with at least the keys which all which are already faded away. I mean, at least those keys are fading off. 
the T, V and F. I, I am hoping they will support it. But then I am not sure uh, I will have to go back every time when this once this key start fading off. It's it it's like a nightmare for me because that's not what I had signed up for. So that's pretty much what I wanted to share in this uh, the big bad the big big bad ones I would say which nobody is talking about which you should be aware of as a customer before making that buying decision. So until the next episode, it's bye from me.